Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a review on this LaCrosse um, Atomic Clock Outdoor Temperature. So I've gone through several of these. This is an older one. They still sell it. I don't like these. These just don't last. The outside temperature probe is just terrible. It doesn't connect really well. I was really amazed by this one and how well it connected. It just connected out of the box. As soon as I put the batteries in, As soon as I put the batteries in, it started reading the outdoor temperature, which never happens with this older one. Um, these things, I really, I've thrown, these things last maybe a year or two, and I just end up throwing everything away. This stops working first, and then eventually even the clock stops working. But this one was really easy to uh, set up. I do recommend getting the uh, Ultimate Lithium. So these batteries are designed for outdoor temperature probes. They just take the temperature uh, swings a lot better and last a lot longer. So this is an alarm clock, but I'm not sure I'd ever use it for an alarm clock. And it does have a really nice stand. Um, if you had it. But I hang mine on the wall. And it takes two AA batteries. It's got the instructions are right here um, how to set everything up, which is really nice I didn't even have to do the um, atomic time search but you would just press the set button and it's even got a sensor I haven't had to I haven't had to use this yet but if you hold the minus button it'll search for the remote signal and there's the minus button so these are nice features but like I said it just uh, worked out of the box so with this outdoor temperature probe, it does have a hole that you can hang it by a string or you can um, put a screw up and hang it on a screw. But I've found Velcro works because it seems like you always have to take it down to um, change the batteries or get it to connect or something. So I've been using Velcro. So I've got mine under my easement here to keep it out of the rain. I think you can have these in the rain, but I think it's better if you don't have them in the rain. They might last a little longer. But it's gonna, it's on the back side of the house. It's gonna get sun late at night. So when these things, when the sun does hit them, you don't get the most accurate reading. It will show a little warmer than it actually is. But this is where I put it. it kind of keeps it um, out of the rain. And that's where I use that Velcro. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set the time on this. You're gonna hold the set button, it's gonna beep at you. Then if you want, if you're going to want English, you just press the set button again. You want the beep on or off. If I didn't want the beep on or off, I would press this plus or minus. There's off. There's on. So then I'm going to press the set button again. Automatic. On. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing the set button here to scroll through. Display. Daylight saving time. On. Okay, zone. I'm on central standard time. I like this because these older clocks have minus six, plus five, and you got to kind of figure that out. Mountain standard time, eastern standard time. So just use the plus or minus arrows to scroll which one you want. So I am central standard time. I'm going to press the set button. Hour. And I can change my hour. 12 it's 11 a.m. press the set button minutes year I would use the plus and minus right here to change the year month date December 3rd so this will let you display your temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius there's Celsius there's Fahrenheit okay and then once you scroll all the way through um, it sets the time. So the directions that come with this new lacrosse are very nice. Um, very simple, very basic. And it even looks like it keeps track of the high and the low time, so, or the high and low temperature. So there's the high temperature I've seen. If I press the minus button,
Okay, so you got to press the plus button to get to low. So pressing the plus button, it starts off with that's your high temperature you've seen. Press it again. There's the lowest temperature that I've seen on these on this. So this display does have a low battery indicator. When your outdoor temperature probe um, batteries start to go low, it will display a little symbol showing they're low. I do like the moon phase. Shows the phases of the moon. So again, I was real leery. I'm real happy with this. Time will tell. But both of these were made by Lacrosse, And they still make these. And I've been buying these because they fit. This one is a little wider. And I've been buying these. But these, I just don't like these anymore. They just don't last. These temperature probes, outdoor temperature probes, just don't last. Um, I've even keep them out of the water. And I've tried other things, but they this just doesn't last. But I do like this. Hopefully these will last a little longer. Setup was so much easier than this old one. So again, if you could please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.